We live. Yeah, baby. We finally live. I can't oh, do live there. anymore. Now I, I stream from my phone, so I don't have a hundred or I don't have a thousand subscribers, so I can't screen uh go live from my phone anymore. <laughs> yeah. What's up, uh, everybody? Uh, sorry guys, <laughs> we had a little bit of technical difficulties here. We know a bunch of rednecks, we know what we're doing. It was it was EDC's <laughs> fault. It wasn't my fault. I'm just here, man. I'm just happy to be here. That's all. I, mean. I appreciate you coming, man. Uh, like I said, I'm hate for being the last minute thing, but we figured it out. We got it going now, so we live. Hopefully, everybody having a good day. Uh, a lot of rain here in North Carolina, and over there in uh, View Addicts having a lot of rain as well. What about you, Joe? You getting any rain over there? We had a little bit of rain this morning. It's just cloudy and dark right now. Gotcha. All right. Well, again, thank you, everybody, for coming in. And uh, make sure to uh, check out the links down below on, on my side as well. Go check out Joe Fish. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe as well. Subscribe to the other guys here on the panel. Uh, again, subscribe. <laughs> I love it when you do that. But uh, I don't even know how that happened. I tell you, that's that's your model. You need to get your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you uh, coming again. And uh, if nobody knows who Video Edit is, uh, he's a YouTuber, just like everybody else here on this panel. And he mostly, what's that? If you don't, if you don't know who James is, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but check him out. He's a cool guy. Uh, he does a lot of unboxings of different uh, uh, box descriptions and. Um, Pretty much just about everything but anyways james uh if you don't want me to call you james uh yeah, that's fine. Tell, tell us a little about yourself and who you are and how you got started and what made you decide to go you know go to youtube start doing videos uh, what made me get started it all kind of started for me uh whenever i used to go to mcdonald's and i love the little minion toys and i started making videos and sending them to my sisters who have all my nephews. I have like nine nephews okay. right now. And so I'd make little funny videos playing with minions and I started sending it to them. They're just like, oh my God, you got me laughing. And they were just like, you ought to put that on Facebook. So then I started putting it on Facebook and then everybody started saying, you ought to put it on YouTube. And I was like, oh really? I don't get anything. I mean, I'm just going to make minion videos. Some 40 year old man making minion videos. And <laughs> crap. And then uh, I found uh a subscription box for hunters. I started with the loot crate. I love the little geek stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, then all of a sudden I was like, well, I wonder if there's any hunting stuff because that's what I do, you know, for my main fun. And uh, I found sportsman's box was my very first one. And I ordered it. And then I started watching other people reviews like, you know, out West with Chris, dynamic prepper. And I started seeing all these other things. And other than that was for Chris, which I love his reviews where you see him, you know, and a lot of people, Dynamic Prepper is one of them, even though he does really good reviews. I don't like seeing hands, you know, I mean, people showing me their hands and saying, oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. Oh, I got this. So one day I just sat down with a box that I got and it was actually, I think one of the first, the first one I ever did was a Star Wars box. I got this big Star Wars collector's box and I just sat a dang camera on the box and started filming it. And then I, then I just posted the whole thing up. It was like 35 minutes, some crazy stuff. I was like, nobody's going to watch this. People started watching it. And then the next video I made, still long, but I didn't have no idea how to edit any of this stuff. It was just like whatever was on the card, that's what went into the thing. So, <laughs> okay. And, and then it just kind of took off from there. Next thing you know, I got expensive laptops and, four or five GoPros and <laughs> and all this stuff. And now it's now everything that I do is all about finding ways to have content. That's all I do anymore. I just like, what do I, what can I do to film? You know? Yeah. So video addict, how did that, how did that name come up? How, how, how did it come out? I mean, uh, the video addict was really, it, it came to me in about a minute. Maybe I was having to sign up for a YouTube because everybody was telling me, you got to put your videos on YouTube. You got to put your videos on YouTube. So I was like, well, let me create a YouTube account. Uh, I was like, I don't know. What am I going to be? And all my friends, they call me our group historian because I am a picture fanatic 
because when I was a kid, we were so poor. I had nothing. We have no memories for really of any of my childhood. Okay. I mean, I have a few photos, but I mean, not like today where everything can be photo photoed and everything. So I became this guy that came, I became obsessed basically with having those memories when cool things would happen. I would take videos, I would take, you know, photos. And so they all call, they always said that I was addicted to videos and everything like that. So I was like, what am I going to be? And I was like, video addict. <laughs> I don't know. So I typed it in and I, that's how that came up. I was just sitting there thinking about what could I possibly be? And I, I actually went on YouTube, searched video addict first and saw that there was like five other channels with a video addict name, but none of them posted anything. So I was just like, okay, whatever. So nice. that's pretty much how that all happened. <laughs> and so far you've been on YouTube for about what, a year or two now? No, it's been like right at three years, I think. Three years? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been watching you for about a year, and I tell you, you are you are a funny character sometimes. And I, <laughs> that's what I like about you. Your personality is totally different than anybody else, and I, you know, I think that's what everybody likes about you. Your personality is different. Uh, you're funny, and you're straight up to the point. I mean, you tell it like it is, and, and that's how you know that's how it's supposed to be in channels. You know. Yeah, I mean, opinion. that's the big thing that I think that I get from most of it, and I don't care if these people, you know, if they don't want me reviewing their boxes, which. I've lost a few where they've just canceled me for no reason. And it's because I gave bad reviews, but I mean, you have to tell it what it is. And that's what all my subscribers do. People think that because somebody gives me a free box or something, like I'm getting a few of my boxes free now. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, they can't, they better not think that by giving me a free box, it's going to get them a good review. Yeah. And I've had people say, Oh, you're going to, you're just going <laughs> to be giving good reviews now. And I'm like, no, I'm not because I know that's what all my subscribers, the regular people that are here every month watching all these videos, they're just like, I love that you're honest no matter what. And, yeah. and that's the way I look at it, man. I kind of look, I want to look at it as if I was spending my money on it because I was, and I mean, I was spending a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I, see. I mean, I, you I see the boxes I, I, I review. At one time, I was paying for every freaking one of them, and it was hurting. I mean, it. But I was just like, I'm trying to build my channel, yeah. and then the channel started making a little bit of money. Two hundred dollars a month when you're spending a thousand plus in boxes mm -hmm. is not anything, you know. And so there's no money in YouTube, but it's the amount of stuff you get now that I'm receiving some of them free. It kind of offsets a little bit. Yeah, and it's just fun. It's like. Instead of going to the bars, I make videos. <laughs> it's it's yeah. safer and probably cheaper, in all honesty. Yeah, true, true. I, I I understand what you're saying, and I'm in the same boat. I mean, I get a lot of products as well, and everything. But uh, you know, I still haven't been monetized. My channel's still in approval, and it's been going for six, eight months now, and they still haven't approved it. So that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not it, here. Really. It, it may be because of you, you're because you do a lot of gun stuff. Yeah, I, I believe that's what it is. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I still try to do the best I can. You know, we we are pretty much here, you know, to promote products, basically. I mean, that's exactly. it so it's, more, it's, it's a win-win situation with all the companies that you work with. So, I mean, yeah. I see I see it still as a win-win. So, yeah, it's, yet, um, like, it's one of those things, man. I mean, getting the connections is hard. And like when I first started out, though, I mean, how many subscribers you got right now? Uh, I want to say thirteen hundred. Yeah, dude, just getting to getting to a thousand was a freaking chore, you know. Oh. And then nobody knows anything about you. Nobody really cares about you. I mean, I've still got people that you know I may reach out to, and I'm like, hey, are you looking for people to review your box? I'm not looking for free stuff, but if you can offer like a, a heavy discount or something like that. Yeah. You know, I'd be glad to pay and cover the cost of your box, but I can't afford whatever. And and some in some cases, I've I've offered companies, hey, if you'll send me the box, I'll send it back to you. If they got stores, online stores and stuff, I'm like, I'll send you the box back at you at my expense. I will pay to ship it back to you. So you get the advertisement for basically the fifteen dollars in shipping. Uh, you know, I offer that to some people, and you know, it. But getting that connection to get these to talk to you they don't want to talk to you i mean that's why five thousand is my next kind of 
thing where I need to get. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the the companies that I spoke to, especially some of the subscription boxes, like uh, just to give you an example, uh, the Battle Box, I think it is. Uh, you know, I, I reached out to them and they said they really want to be looking more and starting at the five thousand subscriber. Yeah. You no. Know, uh, some of them maybe less, some of them maybe more. It just depends who you reach out to and connect, you know. But some of them have their own requirements before you can, you know, consider yeah. your sponsorship. Oh, yeah. Battlebox wasn't going to give me nothing at first. Uh, you know, they never reached out to me. They never talked to me. But it got to the point where I had so much of that kind of stuff that I was like, I cannot find it. I can't financially justify it. I mean, it's good for content, but it's an expensive box. So I just, I just told him, I was like, man, I've got tons of this stuff. I was like, I said, y'all have a shop. So for them, it should be a simple thing. I will send it right back to you. Just, I will review it. It gives me content, gives you advertisement. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the guys, they were just like, well, listen, we don't normally do this, you know, but we love your channel. We've been watching you for a while because I've been with them since like 17. Okay. So I'm like, they were just like, you don't have to send the box back to us. You have to give it away. And yeah. I was like, I was like, done and done. I was yeah. like, because, I mean, I'm happy to give it away because it it makes people so much more involved mm -hmm. since I started giving away them battle boxes. When you, everybody wants to get something for free. I know what it is. Everybody comes, I mean, I'm actually happy to be on a live feed where I don't have to give anything away tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, every, yeah. Live feed, every live feed costs me a lot of stuff out of that room in there. Well, I bet, and I'm, I bet. Like, I, I'm like, man, I can't be doing no more live feeds. If I, if I do five or five to 10 live feeds, I'm out of stuff in there. Yes. But, I uh, uh, and, and, uh, you know, you know, being that, small, until the next month's box. What's that? Yeah. Until the next round of boxes. Said, until in. the next month's uh, <laughs> shipment of boxes. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, shit, got all this stuff now. What am I going to do with it? Like, I'll give a little bit of away. And then, you know, the next month's boxes roll in. and Just champagne problem there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, those kids are expensive at first, you know, especially being a, a small YouTuber. Uh, you know, you are going to spend a lot of money. That, and it depends on how much you want to, you know, show us content and everything it's going to be very expensive at first you know not just counting uh your equipment your cameras your laptop your edited software which some of them out there are you know free and everything but uh but you know i don't have a camera and like i said everything i record is on this right here yeah well real quick i just want to give a quick little yeah. hello to craig. i actually started craig kathy what's up guys? My house. What's kathy? <laughs> rico well, rude. Yeah, don't give me no damn chocolate mints. I don't want it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, well, I, to forget that we, I don't want to I think we forgot about them over there. Yeah, yeah. I've been I'm trying to look back at the chat and see if you have any questions. But uh, yeah, uh, just quick shout out. Thank you for coming, uh, Craig, Kathy, uh, Welderu, Regal, Aguirre. Uh, thank you guys for showing up and uh, make sure to uh, you know. Check out the links below. Make sure check all these guys on the panel. Subscribe to them. Follow them on Instagram. Everything, whatever they have, and uh, everything else. But as well, uh, make sure to like this uh, live feed as well, and also uh, get some people in here. I uh, hope I can do a giveaway today. If uh, if I can get 50 people in here, I'll do a giveaway. Um, totally. So let's see if and, I can share. It. Let me share it real quick. Maybe that'll uh, something. Just, just just to give you an idea, this is what I'm gonna give away today. If I get 50 rounds, 50 people. Come on now. It's a glide. 50 round drum here. Yeah, it's a Korean made, but you know what? It's free. Give me 50 people here and I'll give this away. Do I get entered? <laughs> <laughs> got but, a um, I don't have a glide, actually. So I don't. don't what? You tell me you don't I have had, a glide. Uh, I don't have a I glide. have an AR 15. Oh, also, it was chambered a nine millimeter that used Glock magazine. Also, just just a quick recap as well. Um, you know, this guys have helped me a lot, and this live team been sponsored by no other than Bear Armory and C. Check those guys out; they're pretty cool. That's the logo right there. If you can get it to focus, come on, come on, come on. I want to. <laughs> but anyway, 
uh i'll have everything in the description down below so you can you know check the guys out they do a lot of uh custom builds on ars high-end stuff whatever you want you know they pretty much do it but those guys have helped me a lot as well uh that upper right there was uh you know provided to me by them so uh make sure to check those guys out as well all right let's see if we have any questions uh in here uh who else got in here uh jason james in here he said he's late he says what's up carolina james and joe hey what's up james what's up what's going on jason one of the regulars on all the channels <laughs> yeah he is uh james uh sure uh shows on everything we're at but uh thank you for showing up appreciate the support I'm gonna. Sh I'm trying to share this real quick. I'll be right back. I'm trying, to get, right. trying to get those fifty people in here so you can give away something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, not sure how many people yeah. are here right now. I can't see. Why don't you field some questions? I'm gonna open up YouTube, so I'll step away from this. Also, you can kind of talk to some people in the chat. Well, James and I. Yeah, yeah. Up. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Come back if you need to. Uh, James, if you wanna join in, let me know. I'll send you an invite. Since you are my moderator here. What I do? Try to share it out anyway. Oh, he's, he's sharing. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I just shared it on my on my uh, video addict Facebook page. Uh, talk about social media. I I don't see you much on Instagram. So are you? I I really don't only because I spend so much time already on the YouTube and just my normal Facebook time. Uh, everybody, I I don't know. At the same time, I don't know what. I don't know how to properly use Instagram. I guess you use that's the way to say it. I don't know what it's going to help me do anything more than what I'm doing. Well, and yeah, I've, yeah. everybody's told me, everybody's told me Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Well, one of the things I freaking hate about Instagram is I can't do it from my laptop. So you have to do it from your cell phone. Yeah. So that annoys me because a lot of times whenever I'm just sitting around, I want to do something or upload photos for, or videos from my laptop, but it won't let me do it. Mm -hmm. So it just, it's, it's annoying to me, but I do know that there is a huge field. I mean, that's one of the things like with hunt vault, they're really big on that whole thing. They're, that's what she tells me all the time. Like, Oh, we're, we're really, we really push uh, Instagram. And I'm like, well, I mean, I don't ever see anybody doing hunt vault on YouTube. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. Well, it's and, it's a good platform to pretty much advertise your your channel as well. Your, your you know your content or or like any coupon codes that you may have, which you I'm sure you see a lot of my coupon codes and affiliated links. Yeah. And and I tell you, Instagram has been very helpful because a lot of my sales and discount codes that people use are come from Instagram. So I don't get anything from people using my discount codes. Uh, I don't get any kickbacks. I don't get anything like that. I, I mean, I want them to continue to see me as value. Mm -hmm. So I hope that they do, but they all, that's why I, all my discount codes are video addict pretty much video addict or video addict 10 or video whatever. Yeah. But I mean, here's the thing. I don't even, I, I've never asked for a free box. I, I've never asked for a free box and, and I'll never ask for a free box. I may ask for you to send me one and then me return it or something like that, but I'm not trying to get, I was, I, that's the way I've always done it. If you want to give it to me, that's fine because I don't want people to come asking me for free plumbing. You know, if I want to, if I want to do some plumbing job for them and then like say, okay, this one's on me or that was nothing. Yeah. You know, and I, and I do that from time to time. If I go in some place and it's like, all I did was like, turn a screw or something, tighten something or a packing nut, I might be like, oh, don't worry about it because I was already in the area or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it, it should be the person's decision. It should be the company's decision. If they think that I add value, then that's fine. And, you know, that's what Humphalt did. Humphalt started giving me free stuff. They, they, they called me and told me, said, hey, by the way, you're getting your box for free. I'm like, all right, thank you. <laughs> you know, so obviously they must have seen that a lot of people were using my code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, good. I mean, that's 
honest to God, what's funny is the person, the people that I get the most subscriptions for is short par for the golf box. <laughs> <laughs> I get notified every time somebody uses my discount code for them. So I, I think I've, I've got like five in the last week just for, for them. And I get, I've got enough and I try to tell them this cause they're still charging me for boxes. Yeah. And I, but my discount code gets me $25 off. Mm -hmm. Right. It lets me use every time somebody signs up, I can use $25 off my box, but you can only use one code. Yeah. So if I'm paying 75, I can only get it knocked down to 50 mm -hmm. and I've got mm -hmm. enough, I've got enough coupons to get me like six months of free boxes, but they won't, they won't let me use them all at once. Gotcha. I'm like, y'all gotcha. suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, um, you know, a lot of the companies now have, you know, that I work with have, uh, opened up a, like, uh, ambassador program, I guess an affiliated type program that will, yeah. Uh, people may, you know, depending on the program they have, uh, a lot of the coupons goes they use with mine. Uh, you know, it's a little percentage here and there that you get from every sale, but sometimes it uh, they give you a custom link, you know, that you can always, as long as you click on that link and use it, uh, yeah. they also give you a little kickback. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's see, nothing. I need, to, I need to get to that. I need to get to some point, and, and I will probably the more product reviews that I'm that I do and I've got product reviews lined up that I from ATA that I still haven't done because our weather has been so crappy I haven't been able to get out and do the reviews I mean we've had bad weather for like two and a half months man. it's just horrible it's like every day and the only days that are good weather are like Monday through Friday and when, then when you're working I, yeah, when I'm working then I'm the, and plus it just started getting daylight later so I used to come home at 5 30 and it'd be dark and I'm like so the time changed. So I'm about to start getting out and doing more of those reviews. But uh, I think the more I get into doing product reviews and that's where I will be eventually, that's what I always saw myself. If I was going to do anything more than that, I want to do something <laughs> more as much as hopefully to get the product reviews to the point, like you're saying, if I could get to the point to where I could make some money off of it to pay, to be able to go and do things, you know, like maybe go hang out with Joe fish, maybe go hang out with Craig Rainbow, maybe go hang out with other people who are really involved in my channel. You know, I mean, I got to hang out with this guy, Dwight, uh, hunts with family and he works in the white house and I went and met him and took a tour of the white house. And that was, you know, to me, I think that y'all are way more interesting than me. Maybe, the hanging out of guys. I mean, I'm fun to a point, but I'm really just sitting here showing y'all shit. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I want it to be more involved. I want you to see the people that I see or that I've got the experience and see the kind of people they are and what makes people people, you know? Yeah. And I always thought that would be something cool to do, but financially I can't do it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But I if it comes to the point that I can, like, that just happened that I was going to New York and it didn't cost me any extra money to stop off in uh, Washington. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I think that's, uh, you know, either even if, if companies don't pay you to do their stuff, I mean, you still get something out. I mean, like you, you get to go on like hunts and stuff like that and different events and stuff, you know, which I think that's a win-win situation as well to me. I mean, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Every, all I consider all the gear that I get, I consider that payment. I mean, yeah. it's it's worth money. Everything that I get and everything I get to do, uh, you know, I I want. I've got so many of my subscribers that'll say that they want me to come hunt with them or they want me to do this. That's what I want to do. I, yeah. And it doesn't even matter about me coming there and killing your animals. I don't even care. I want to come there and sit down and hang out with you. And, you know, if we get to kill an animal, great. If not, but, you know, I just think it'd be cool just to hang out with some of these people. Yeah, true, true. And uh, another thing, um, I'm going to go here in the chat room right quick, just kind of see what people are talking about. Maybe they have some questions. But uh, right. uh, Regal Aguirre says, not only the boxes, but the products and the boxes I have purchased because of James reviews. <laughs> uh, Craig Reamer says, you can always review rain gear and waterproof boots. LOL. Uh, yeah. 
I still like the idea of subscribers camping trip. So there you go. I mean, yeah, it just, you know. And that's, want- and that's going to happen. That's going to happen. But the only reason I haven't brought it up to Joe Fishing because he broke his foot for one damn reason because he's not doing mm-hmm. whatever. Can't walk on ice. Drunk. I was drunk and fell out of the truck. <laughs> I am drunk and fell out the truck. You shouldn't be in Pennsylvania. You should be in freaking Louisiana, Georgia, or Texas. There you go. I wouldn't have slept in the ice if I was down there. I, <laughs> I that's, that's the honest God truth. But yeah. this is I, – I, I bought this. Would you get a bad box? I saw that and I didn't want these. And I had a specific – place right for him as soon as i saw him i was like all right and i'll try and get some gun cabinet here but yeah i've i've joined gunner crate i I joined gunner crate because of your box review from gunner crate um tack pack i joined tack pack because of your review see i appreciate that and and dynamic crap for credits due to the yeah, I, 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 I was about to tap pack. Yeah, uh, this is my. With the lights in it. I put them lights specifically yeah, in my gun camera. Nice lights, man. I actually bought my own of those too. I got, I found them at Lowe's because I had to give those away. So I was walking through Lowe's and I saw them and I was like, I'm buying those. <laughs> so I actually got them in there. Yeah, I need to, I need to give me a big safe like that as well. I don't have nothing that big, but. Um... I got a 42 gun safe that I won at a St. Jude's auction oh, wow. and I paid $5 for the ticket. I won a 42 gun safe. And I, at that point I literally had three guns. <laughs> I was like, hey. my friend, my friend hates me sometimes. I'm pretty lucky whenever it comes to that. <laughs> I got friends like my father-in-law is like that. This dude has so many guns. He literally couldn't shoot one, a different one every day in hunting season. And go through all, all of his guns through every day of hunting season. He'll win two or three guns a year. Wow, I'm not that lucky. Just, just randomly, he'll be like, "Yeah, I just bought this ticket. You know, this twenty dollar gun bash ticket." He's like, "Yeah, I want a gun, and and my wife want a gun from twenty bucks." That's pretty cool. I stopped buying tickets because I literally what I did. A buddy of mine and I, when I lived up in Erie, who I hunted with and stuff all the time, we went to every gun pool within 50 mile radius of, of us and we bought all these tickets at these gun shows where you buy other tickets and I had them in a baggie on the, on the front of my fridge and every time the bait would go up would come up either I would go to it or I'd wait a couple days if I didn't hear anything I just grabbed it slipped it to the back of the stack then at the end of the year I went out and I pulled them out just to see how much I had spent on gun raffle tickets I literally spent six hundred dollars on gun raffle tickets and didn't win a damn gun, didn't win a knife, I didn't even win a freaking turkey. So I was like, I just spent six hundred bucks in a year. I might as well just take that six hundred bucks a year and just buy a gun. <laughs> That's about it. Wow. So how many people do we got in here right now? I can't see that. Yeah, I'm trying to see myself too. As I was talking, but let me see. It says uh, fourteen. We got 14 want, people here. That's it. I would have thought we'd have more than that. Wow. Okay. We got to get those numbers up. I'm going to tell you right now, dude. Y'all try and run a dang live feed with 75 people in it. That's not, That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you say you want 50 people, but 50 <laughs> people is a lot of conversation to carry. That's what we got. Uh, make other people the old mediator if they can watch, you know. See how many uh, people are in here, but okay. Yeah, I see Jamie, now. We, need to do that. we need to make some of us regular guys that are in the chat moderators. So that way, if we get trolls that are coming in, you know, 20 yeah, minutes got, into I, the live feed, we all know is going to last an hour and a half, two hours. We can help get rid of those and keep your live stream running smooth and let us handle the handle the trash, I guess. Yeah, because y'all, y'all see, y'all see of the comments than I do. Sometimes they roll by so fast for me and I like I'll go back and I'll watch the live stream. Usually as soon as it's over, I go back and I watch it mm-hmm. and I just try and like answer any questions that people had that I didn't answer during the live stream and I'll send them messages or whatever just trying to get them answered, but 
it, it gets really crazy, man, whenever you're doing that thing, whenever you're going that fast. Yeah. Now, I remember you had a guy last year. I was out in Indiana. It was right about the time that you did your Gilfish uh, Junk for Games box. Yeah. And that you had, you had a guy that came in there and was asking all sorts of ignorant ass questions. And it's like, I, I, like, I so bad just like just wanted to kick him out of the chat because I knew – that it was just going to be. That was a guy that says, do you agree that black people should be whatever? Yeah. 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 That really pissed me off, man, because. I knew I mean, it was, but like, that type of shit, like, a lot of us people know that, like, that's just shit you don't, we don't want in the channel. You know what I mean? Like, no. we're all kind of a community. And it's like, yeah, as soon as it anyone don't. Up, yeah, it, don't, it. it don't go very well with me either, because like I told him then, you know, I got two nephews that are mixed race and I love them to death. And, uh, and I like their, I like their dad. I like, you know, I'm, I have no, I mean, I'm Southern and people might think a certain thing about me, but they don't know me. Yeah. Uh, but that really did piss me off. <laughs> Cause, uh, I think that was like right after my sister died too. Their mom died. Yeah. It was, uh, that really just irked me. So. But I, for the most part, man, I, I have the best thinking subscribers, man. The, the one thing I, I did not want to deal with signing up for YouTube was trolls. Yeah, and, oh, that, you want to give that no matter what. And, <laughs> and, you, and you are, and you can see early on whenever I'd respond to them, like I'd make a whole video basically tell them how they're idiots or whatever. And now I'm just kind of like, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. You know? At yeah. least you watched the video. I mean, you yeah, got me yeah. some watch time. Appreciate it. Exactly. But, you know, sometimes it's good to have those trolls because it brings more people in. It does. Actually, uh, uh, what's his name? Dang it. The other guy does SHTF. Doc P. Doc, Doc P, yeah. Doc P, me and him talked in the very beginning. And whenever I was first starting out and he was, I mean, he was the one of the first guys that said that we should do like this, like one of these little hangout things mm -hmm. <laughs> and it never came to fruition, whatever. But, uh, but he, he told me, he's like, man, he's like, keep doing what you're doing. He's like, but in all honesty, the more negative you go, the better off you are. He's like, your, your numbers will shoot up like crazy. If yeah. you just, if you just talk shit to them and mm -hmm. call them idiots, and, and douche canoes. If you call him, if you just I was just saying his douche yeah. canoe was his favorite line. Yeah. yeah. So if you that's he that's what he said. He said, dude. He said the minute I started talking back to him, talking trash, he said my subscribers went up like five thousand. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Somebody made a video about that. I don't know who I watched it at, but uh, that's true. I mean, all good comment, bad comment. Leave it in there because. That'll bring more traffic to your channel, to your video. There is no bad publicity, I guess they say. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you still get that, you know, exposure there because, you know, word of mouth, they're going to talk about you. So, hey, there's more people coming in here. Right. And that's what that's what I try and do. I, I don't want to be that asshole. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an asshole in real life. I don't need to be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> According to you, Facebook, I'm 1,995% asshole. So I don't. Okay. <laughs> I still think Kathy took that test like 50 times to get to zero, by the way. I, I think mm. there's no way in hell she got zero. But not she, on the first she, try. She, 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 she photo edited that crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, say, uh, we got any new people here. Uh, David Chase, too, says, what up, video addict? What's up, David? Let's see how many people we got now here. I figure people start chiming in today since all of them should be getting all their giveaways that I sent out last week. I ain't yes. got nothing yet. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I haven't sent yours or Craig's out. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not. I'm not in a rush, buddy. Yeah. I it's am. Really hard, hard. It's really hard with that stuff, you know. I mean, and I, I feel I feel bad and I feel guilty sometimes because, like, when y'all send me that stuff. And it's it's weird for me. It's it's awesome because I, I love it and it really shows me how people pay attention. They care about what I'm doing and they care, you know, they care enough to send me this stuff. But at the same time, whenever I think about sending you shit back, I'm like, what I mean, I don't I mean Joe Fish more than Craig, 
you know, I'm, I mean, I kind of see your videos. I know a little bit about you by watching your video. Craig, I don't know nothing about him. I don't know. I mean, I know just what me and him talk emails and sending messages back and forth. But as far as like knowing the personality and I mean, he knows my favorite movies and everything. Else. <laughs> so, so it gets difficult sometimes for me to. But, uh, Craig's a ghost. I go in there and I think and I and I sit in my room and I just look around I'm like, what do I put in there? What do I get? I mean, I can send him a bottle of whiskey, but that's about all I know. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with a bottle of joy that way either. Hey, right? right? there's not. I sent him one before. Now I got a, uh, he wants a bottle of TX. <laughs> so that's why we're gonna get this done. I got the, I got something in the works. I'm gonna make for you. I, I'm, just, I'm I'll, I'll just the knife, but um, I want to do something else too. So I'm putting off – well, I've been putting it off because I've been – the weather's been crappy here, and it's got like – we just had like an inch of snow and freezing rain the other day. So yeah. it's like I ain't going to go under and freeze my freaking ass off trying to do anything when it's that cool. Now. It's just not oh, fun. Yeah. My fingers get numb, and it's hard to hold on to my – it's it's weird because I'm, you know, next to the forge, I'm hot. But as soon as I step away, it's cold. As soon as I go over to the other side of my garage where my, you know, where my tools are, it's cold as hell. So it's just – it's – not vindicative of a good working environment to want to be able to spend any real time down there and get anything done. And that oh, sucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Good deal, Tony. I'm glad you got it, Craig. I will give you a call. <laughs> I got your number. I've been meaning to call you. I just, I've been going crazy. Because <laughs> actually, one of the things I want to do, and I don't know if you've given it away or not, is the, uh, the, the tiebreaker. I want to make a kind of sheet for that. But I also want to incorporate my poorest judge, public defender, because I know you have a public defender. I wanted to yeah. do a dual Kydex holster, uh, retention holster. I want to test it out on mine first because that's what I want to use as my everyday carry. And if it works out and I like how it turns out, I'm going to make another one and send that with your knife. So that way you got the badass uh, knife. I got That'll have a Kydex sheath. And then yeah. if you have the tiebreaker still – but I'm gonna make it so you can attach it to a bag. The tiebreaker. Which one is that? That CRKT that just came in last month's battle bar, or barrel oh, blade. No, that uh, that was a gift for uh, Kathy for her for her birthday. Her birthday. Yeah, well, I I'm said, not have to it to you anyway. <laughs> she got it today. She 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 asked me for it whenever I got it because I have a lot of skeletonized knives. So I, I and I love that knife. And I, even whenever I was putting it in there, I was like, "She wants it. She she made me a nice little box. I I love you, Kathy. I loaded <laughs> it up and I put it in the mail. It hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> What's funny is I got so many knives in there, and I go in there sometimes. <laughs> I think Man, I need to throw this up on marketplace or this you know whatever and sell this and make a little bit of money. Every time I go in there, I'm like, I'm not getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of that. I just can't get rid of any knives. I can't carry them all, but I am not getting rid of them. Yeah, I get a lot of cheap knives. Cheap. Stuff, but, you look uh, at them and you're like, I want to get rid of you so bad, but at the end of the day, you're like, damn it, you're stuck here. I guess my kids. My kids. Have you, have you checked uh, Raven? What's it, Ravencrest? They, they, they got a subscription. Uh, you pay like nine something, and for shipping, it comes up to about. 13 15 bucks around there you get a knife every month every month yeah I, I think i don't i don't think that that's something that i would want to do because just simply because the knives are probably like a lower quality they are they yeah. are low quality but uh um, and, and i don't have i've got all these boxes sending me these nice ones all i would do is literally throw them to the side and you know do them in giveaways, but then I'm giving away crap knives. I don't want to do that. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I subscribe for it. I think I think I did it for about three months. And again, yeah. you know, they're kind of made stuff. I mean, they're, they're novelty stuff. You know, it's I think yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, th that's not to say that some crap knives aren't nice. I got some crap knives that are really nice, but yeah. uh, I really want to get in on that monthly knife club. Yeah, me too. You know, but I can't. Do the fixed one or the folders? The one that Dynamic Prepper does that comes with the EDC like gear stuff in it too. Is so that the, oh, okay, that one. I, okay, yeah. I got you. Like, I, he, he another one that's like 
Is it the Onyx? Yeah, the Onyx. The, the and, only problem I have with that box is that I don't know if it – I mean, I know the knife is the value. I get that. But as far as you take the knife out of it, it's not really that much to it. So, I mean, if the knife, if you don't love the knife, really, truly, you know, it's. Yeah, you got bone in the box. Know. Yeah, I mean, I just. Because they send the same stuff that all my other boxes send uh, that I see in a lot of cases. Like, oh, yeah, I've gotten something like that, or I got that, or I got that, or I got that. But, you know, again, I, I reached out to them too, and they, they, they told me the same thing 5,000 subscribers. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to never enough tactical coming up here soon, but. I'm trying to wait. I'm probably not going to wait much longer, but I had to get a new debit card, and which I hope it comes in soon. Because if not, I'm going to have to freaking finagle around Tack Pack and Barrel and Blade before they charge yeah. me. Because my I had to. I got one of those stupid chip reader cards, right. and my debit card got a crack in it right next to the chip. Well, now now the chip won't work. So yeah. you try to use the chip thing, and then it 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 comes back as chip error so then it wants you to slide it well you do that three you times, and then you do it three times. <laughs> i got a bad chip on one of my cars too but uh yeah, I'm for a new debit card that's been like two weeks ago that shit should have been here by now what happens when you live out in the middle of nowhere especially, in Pennsylvania, especially. <laughs> you should have seen, seen a box i got i ordered them squeezy clamps for my kydex press yeah that box, if you've seen Ace Ventura Pet Detective, the first one, <laughs> Where he picks up the box. Box probably look, that box probably looked better than the box that I got. Like, literally, my clamps were sticking out of both ends of the box. It was all crushed in the middle and it was like slightly twisted a little bit. It was beat to shit. Like, it, it was like, I don't even know. I didn't even know how it showed up in one piece, to be honest with you. Oh, I still have the other envelope from when you originally sent me stickers. Uh, I only yeah. kept this because it's your mailing address on it. I didn't want to lose it, but that's yeah, how I've gotten mail before. Don't show it to everybody. <laughs> this is how I've gotten mail before. This was an envelope that Boone sent me with stickers in it. This is how I received it. Yeah, I, I was, that's back from whenever I was forgetting that I got a PO box. I was like, I was like, man, I'm sending all these people my address. I was like, I need to, <laughs> I need to put the PO box. Yeah, so now yeah. I put the now I put the PO box for return. I'm like, I'm gonna have random people showing up at my house. Yeah, I, I have to get a PO box. That's definitely the main thing I have to do. <laughs> well, what I have to do is get a PO box, especially doing all this stuff. Plus, you know, working all the time, I didn't want to leave package out outside and somebody take them. You know how people are these days; they just take packages. Yeah, I oh, have I, a, my my mailman. He'll, he'll just open up my front door and put it in my house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where you live. But no, I uh. Because I live in an upstairs downstairs house, and it's my house that I've had forever. But my dad, whenever I was living off in California, my dad lived here, and then whenever I came back, we were renting out the downstairs, and we were living up upstairs. And then whenever they moved out, I was like, "Dad, you got to go. You got to go." I was like, "I can't live with my dad," and so he moved downstairs, and him and his girlfriend lived down there. So she does all of our office work and she'll she takes most of them off of the porch and stuff whenever they come but uh eventually i will be having to change to a p.o box unless i get out far enough in the woods i want to yeah yeah definitely because like i say people nowadays man they take packages out of the blue and just next you know you just, yeah i got the uh, ring doorbell but i mean all that's gonna do is tell me that they took it it ain't gonna let me get back in time to stop them <laughs> <laughs> No, come back to my yeah. Yeah. Enjoy, hey. enjoy. Let me know what's in it. Hey. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a box <laughs> thief. I'm stealing this box because that's what I do. It's my job. Was that that insurance? <laughs> I, I cannot believe how fast people make that decision to just be like, I'm going to steal that right now. Yeah. It's going from walking Man. down the street, turning it like, well, that's mine. Run over there and just keep on going about their day. Like every time I see somebody walking down the street with a, like a box that was obviously mailed to somebody, that's like first thought they stole yeah, that. I shit. mean, dude, it's so it's so bad here. Yeah. So bad here. I mean, you can't put nothing outside. I mean, you put the little like solar lamps outside along the sidewalk down to the down the street, and these stupid kids run through there and they just kick them or they grab them and throw them off. And I mean, dude. 
can't have nothing nice, man. People just are idiots. <laughs> I watched a buddy of mine <laughs> kick a freaking lawn flamingo one day. A what? And then went through somebody's front window of their house, and we we're just—he never even said nothing about him doing it. We were just walking down the street, and he just took off running and went to punt this. And it took a wicked hard turn to the right and went right through their front window at like two o'clock in the morning. And we're standing there like, what? Why? And we all had to run. It's like, I felt bad for those people, but kids are dumb. Jason's over here selling my address for $5 a pop. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I did say I wanted to hang with subscribers at their place. There you go. <laughs> Nice. So, James, quick question. Just like uh, my you came up, you know, the what? But they would be mostly like standing by a bonfire, drinking beer, eating chicken. Yeah. I'm good with whatever. Yeah. 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 The thing is, how to meet everybody in one spot and see all over the nation. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things. Uh, I live. Yeah. I live here, and there's plenty of. There's plenty of ways to get here that's not too crazy uh, as far as like expensive. And I've got I've got property <laughs> out where at our hunting lease that as long as it ain't during hunting season, shoot, I could probably have a couple hundred people out there if I wanted to. Just bring a bring a pop up tent. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, my, my company has a plant down by you. And um, Rustin. Yeah. Yeah, Rustin's about 45 minutes. It's a small thing. I could justify living in tree for a 45 minute commute. Yeah. That's easy. I would not want to do that job in the summertime, though. The hell with that. Uh, it was I, up here. I don't know. It could be right. It can be bad, but I don't know. Louisiana. I don't think I'd survive a summer in Louisiana working a glass plant. Yeah, it was 82 today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's sixty outside, and I'm already. I start sweating at work. They have Libby glass here in Shreveport. Yeah, anything up above seventy is too hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I don't like it here. Either. So, what was but, your question? Oh yeah, yeah. But I wanted to ask, just like I want to ask every guest, like I did previously last week. What is your CCW firearm? And what is your favorite or to go rifle? Uh, my CCW? What do you mean by that? What was that one? Your EDC carry. Uh, EDC carry? Okay. I, I don't know all the lingo. Um, <laughs> my EDC carry is going to be my Ruger little EC9. I keep that pretty much in the visor of my truck or my new little under the steering wheel thing that we got in barrel and blade that thing works pretty cool uh whenever i'm out hunting i keep my the 45 410 judge with me and rifle rifle is a funny one i i used to like my my 30 out six you know i had my 30 out six i had a brownie 30 out six that got stolen dirty bastards and then i had uh i had a a Browning X bolt 30 out six, which I really like that rifle, but I found that I don't need that here. So now I shoot a 308, uh, Remington 308, seven, 700. And it's, I mean, it's butter, man. I mean, I, I barely touch that trigger and it's, I love that rifle. That's what you mostly hunt with. Yeah. That's what I hunt with. It's a little heavy because it's a heavy barrel. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's the varmint, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, but man, that, that heavy barrel, I'm big enough to where it doesn't bother me, you know? So a lot of people would be like, dude, this gun weighs like 25 pounds <laughs> <But> to me, <laughs> to me, I don't care. I just throw it on my back and I go, but, uh, man, there's no recoil. I mean, it's, I mean, whenever I pull that trigger, I barely even know I did it. Yeah. I'm in the process of building a uh, a 308, but it's going to be an AR platform. It's going to be more of a DMR, dedicated marksman rifle type thing. So it's going to be an 18-inch barrel, uh, you know, 
they are they are styles basically but um right that's gonna be like i said my most dedicated marksmanship type rifle so i'm working on that uh right now in the process of trying to get well I should be getting here in the next couple of days this is going to be a 300 blackout pistol uh, i'm waiting on the upper to come back but um that's going to be my next uh hopefully my next video coming up soon uh never shot a 300 blackout i hope you know it's very expensive to shoot it for one thing but, uh, <laughs> i know so I, it's going to be interesting i love my 300 blackout and the ar platform i mean it's it's awesome i love it I've got it way too tricked out right now. There's way too much weight out on the barrel because I've got I've got everything. Everything that I've ever got in a box that it will fit on that rail, it's just like one big cluster of stuff. But now, uh, uh, one of the videos you show an AR pistol. Is that the one you're talking about? Or that's just no, the, the one that I'm talking about is my 300 Blackout that I've been using hog hunting and whatnot. Oh, okay. You've seen those photos. And I used it in that last video um, showing – what was I showing? Magwell. Oh yeah, I had it sitting right here. No, not the Magwell thing. Um, no, the scope cover, the Badlands scope cover. Ooh, okay. okay. And I set that here. That was my. That's my hunting rifle. And uh, uh, so no, that wasn't what I was talking about. The three hundred blackout. You've seen it before, but right now I, I put a new uh, put a new rail on it a couple weeks ago, so it covers all the way out because I had a bunch of chrome sticking out the end of it. So I got a longer rail for it, but now I got like a green light, a white light, because I bought a bunch of old light stuff too the other day, which I'm still working on those videos. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that's not what we'll talk about here in a second, old light. But go ahead. But uh, yeah. So the AR pistol I have, I really want to the the one thing I want for that, which I can't afford, is the fold away stock. I want the fold away stock so I could easily put that into a backpack. Yeah, uh, that's what I want that for. Um, but I am about to build an AR uh, with Jay's help. Jay's going to help me do the whole thing. But uh, I've got all that stuff from Type Pack, and we went through it, and he was just like, "Really, you only need a lower, and you'll be <laughs> you'll be in business pretty much." Yeah. So if you if you've been subscribed to Type Pack long enough, you could damn near build a gun. Yeah, you can. You just you can. can. Yeah, if you can just get through the t-shirts and toboggans. I've got the labels on top of your, uh, the box. <laughs> you know, it was it's easy for me to give them a little bit of shit. It really is because the shirt, yes, the shirt ticked me off. But at the same time, I was on the verge with Tack Pack. I'd already canceled him a few months back. And then Joe Fish was all like, I thought you canceled him because he thought he was going to be the Tack Pack reviewer now. Uh, <laughs> but, uh. Now it's officially all him. He can have it because I've got plenty of that stuff, and uh, the the shirt thing really just set me off. I don't I'm understand why have such bad customer service with them, dude. I've I've gotten them, and like I've had like problems before, and they've always been like, "Boom, right now, take care of it." Like, I think it's because I don't I don't, bitch, I don't bitch at them. I don't I don't go on and send them emails and and bitch them because they know what they did. Uh, you know, if it was a mistake and they sent me the wrong item or something, but whenever they send stuff like that, they they know what they were doing, and I I don't I don't like it. <laughs> I really I really hate cash grab boxes. That's what I call them. They're cash grabs. R two D two. They put they put they put stuff in there that cost them nothing. I know what t shirts cost. I buy them my business every day. They literally cost about seven bucks printed. You know, and if they're buying however many subscribers, they probably get them for five dollars a shirt. So, yeah. I mean, I the only they're gonna sit there and it was like, it's a thirty dollar value. It's not a thirty dollar value. That's something you throw in as like an extra freebie. Like, hey, we appreciate y'all, maybe you know, or something like that. But maybe not all the time. But I don't. I don't think you should ever include uh, publicity stuff or promotional stuff as. Uh, value lagging out hardcore. That's you, fish. You walking through dead zones. <laughs> but uh, but that's you know boxes are getting kind of weird these days, man. 
They're, uh, they're, uh, it's just like Burrow and Blay. I never, I only got one of the, I think I may have one of the boxes like maybe a year and a half ago. And it was okay. I mean, back then it was okay because they was only dedicated to EDC stuff, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Nice and mostly. But now they transition to outdoor Mar- stuff. You know, Mar- so, so. Maryland Blade is going, dude, I like Maryland Blade. I feel that they're pretty strong right now. I mean, um, yeah, they have some few, you know, just like any box, they'll have their one. Are you thinking so. Maryland Blade or Battle Box? No, Baron Blades. Okay, Battle Boxes went more towards the outdoor kind of thing instead of tactical. Yeah, because, they did. Because of whatever reason, they couldn't advertise and stuff. So, it's like, P- they got in the PC problems. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, Bowhunter Box Club, Jason, he tells me all the time, man, he just talks about all the problems he has. Like, he, like, Facebook told him that they will not allow him to. Uh, advertise and that there was no use in appealing it because the, they would not change their mind. He said, under no circumstances will this change, so stop asking. And it's just like... From Bowhunter Box Club? From Bowhunter Box Club. Now, I mean, they're about to demonetize... I've been seeing videos on YouTube where they're about to demonetize anybody that shows a knife on YouTube. So, I mean, it's it's the world we live in, man. Hell in a handbasket. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna design. I'm gonna design a knife that looks like a little black sensor bar. Yeah. That's what we want to use. Yeah. We'll open the boxes with a sensor bar. I sneak mine in. I'll sneak them in like in the middle of the video. Whenever I, I that's what I've come to kind of realize. If you do it like right in the middle, they don't demonetize my things. But if you do it in the front or at the very end, it's like they're just kind of scanning through. I mean, they can't sit there and watch every video. You know, start losing this little guy. And so definitely, oh yeah. Uh, if you're tricky with it, make sure you don't call it knives. Make sure you call it a blade and stuff like that, so that their algorithms don't pick it up. Uh, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't had that many demonetized, and even the ones that I have had demonetized, if if it gets to the point to where I get over a thousand views and they can review it. They they overturned like three of mine. Or well, the like, problem with that is though is that like they demonetize it, you know, twenty minutes after it's posted, and then by the time it's been, you know, reviewed, exactly. everybody's going to watch it, and then you're not getting yeah. any reviews on it. I agree. It's, it's it's rough, man. I mean, especially whenever you only make a little like two yeah. or three cents on a video anyway. Exactly. Well, luckily, I don't get demonetized because I don't even start again monetized in the first place. So, just, <laughs> so the monetizing just, thing, I got monetized in like less than a week. I reached a thousand subscribers last year. I think it was back in uh, August, and here we are, April. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. that's crazy. But I guess okay. whenever I first started out, I was doing mainly geek boxes and stuff like that. Well, yeah, and plus it wasn't. Plus, it wasn't so hypersensitive back then, you know. I mean, it was just starting to get that way, but now it's ridiculous. Yeah, for you, it's different. We use much, much uh, unboxing stuff, and it's not nothing really gun related. Well, I mean, you may show a little bit of gun stuff, but not as like I do. Yeah, not like you, not like you do. So, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna try and stick around the whole. I'm trying to avoid any gun stuff. For one, I don't know enough about guns. I mean. I know enough to, you know, get through, but Jay's my gun guy. If I go looking to buy a gun, I take Jay with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, Jay was in the Navy for nine years. He knows a little bit about guns. I know. And plus, he's been hunting and doing all this stuff his whole life. I didn't own a stitch of camouflage, a gun, or anything before I met Jay. And uh, now look at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh... Um... got more camel than you know what to do with it. Let's see how many people we got here right now. I haven't checked last time. We have 14. I think we're going down. Oh, no, still got 14. So 15 right now. Yeah, y'all should have reached out to me before. Usually if I schedule it early enough, I can get more people. But Yeah, I think, uh, I think Joe tried to reach to you. I don't know how he reached to you, but I remember your email last time I spoke to you. So that's that's when I, you know, I reached you. I tried to message you on Instagram, but you don't use Instagram that much, so I didn't think you got it. So I, yeah. I sent you a message on Hangouts, like 
a week and a half ago, like, hey, man. But I'm not on do Hangouts. You- I just, I literally just added Hangouts to my Google Chrome thing tonight. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I never had Google. I never. I don't even use Google. I tried using it that one time for my live feed, but uh, it didn't come. It you didn't guys, work. You guys are lagging hard. Actually, I, I see him fine. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm t- I think you're the one that's lagging, but you get cut. Yeah, no, out. you're the only one I can't understand. You're moving around and going through the dead zones. I don't even see you. Yeah, he's in a dead zone now. <laughs> oh well. Uh, there you go. Now I see you. You're in. A, where you at, Si? He's stuck. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's see. Man, so, uh, one of the things I'm running into now, though, is the now we're getting to the whole like apparel stuff like i'm people are asking like hats and t-shirts and stuff like that that's another that's a whole nother level of adding more stuff to do yeah um, i i wanted to do the same uh like right now i just started doing stickers i got i made a little order of stickers but um i just want to give them away i didn't want to sell them just to give them away but um those are a little pricey as well but i want to do patches and that's literally it's, it's very expensive to do those Oh, I know. I literally got a price today. And yeah. I went because I've had people asking me, sending me messages asking, like, oh, are you going to do patches? I'm like, dude, it costs literally, the guy quoted me today, $520 for 100 PVC patches, which is their minimum. So I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, what's a PVC patch go for? $7? So, so if you say I'm going to spend 500 20 to get the patches then every patch i'm gonna have to ship so even if i stick them just a regular envelope that's at least 50 cents probably with the envelope and the, and the stamp so i'm literally gonna be i might make 20 dollars <laughs> <laughs> to get yeah. the headache of making patches not to count yeah. all the ones that i probably got to give away for free yeah i i quoted some uh not the PVCs, but the embroidered ones. Um, minimum that I found was fifty of them. Yeah, just, just fifty of them is like one hundred and fifty, almost two hundred dollars. Yeah, it's it's not, and like the little vinyl decals that I do, you know, these are these are good because I my sister has the machine for them. Yeah. So Cody, I just give her my image. She she goes and she cuts them out. And it's whatever. It's like the cost of the paper, which is, you know, I think you can get like a roll of it for like 25 bucks. And mm-hmm. then the color, of the, vi- the vinyl and the tape, man, it's like 20, 30, 45 bucks, something like that. Yeah, yeah. My brother does, has one of the machines as well. And he, he done a lot of them. But I only done some for my, you know, to put on my car, you know, kind of advertise, I guess you can say. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, e- either way, I mean, that stuff is kind of expensive as yeah now t-shirts you, you can kind of manage it more better if you go with somebody like um uh spring t i think is what it's called or yeah. any other, other companies that they 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 manage everything that you do you don't have to worry about shipping and all that stuff that's directly ordered from them yeah but, but you're, you're, you're literally you're literally going to be looking at making like a dollar a shirt and yeah. I mean, that's the only bad part about that. I mean, not that you're trying to make money, but at some point we have to find a way to pay for all this stuff that we're doing. I mean, exactly. I mean, I had dumped a lot of money into this and I, that's why I talked a while back about how to make, sense. about making changes because I was spending all this money and I have to still live and I still want to buy and buy some property and build a house and stuff like that. And right now I can't do that because I'm spending all my money on boxes. Yeah. But I've got a house. I'm not hurting and I'm single. And I, I mean, so this is what I, this is fine for me right now, but for what I want in my future, uh, you know, I, I need to, if I just broke even, I would be happy. <laughs> no, <honestly. laughs> yeah, yeah. Break even. When I'm all in. When he's actually going to get yourself in one of these uh, boxes, 
That's going to get you. Yeah, we won't see James on YouTube no more. plenty of stuff to, to do videos of. Like I said, I always pictured myself evolving into something else. Yeah. Uh, but. That's the box I was talking about. What? What is uh, it? I said, one of these days, you're going to find yourself getting into a box. And then we won't see James on YouTube no more. He'll be busy all the time. Oh, that box. <laughs> I get you now. <laughs> and my box, I mean box. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. So, so, so let me ask you this: talking about boxes and all that, what you thought about all right veteran at eight man? Oh my god! <laughs> I that can honestly be put down as a box I hated worse than that damn teacher with the backpack. God <laughs> almighty! So that one be that pack, dude. How do you say it's the black rifle box and expect people not to think that it's not black rifle coffee? <laughs> if I would have just got a black rifle coffee t-shirt and hat, I'd have been, it'd been done. I, they, even though that didn't give you the value of the box, I still would have been happy with that. Yeah, but, yeah. and I don't know why I don't just go buy the damn black rifle coffee <laughs> shirt and hat, but I just wanted to see what they came up with. And I mean, <laughs> God awful. I cannot believe that. I, I, and and they say it. It's more of their way to fund their channel, and that's fine. But you shouldn't. I mean, there's what there's people making money off of giving good gear in boxes. So you should do at least the same instead of just being down downright ridiculous about it. All that but, is is a fan box. People, yeah, uh, something for them, their people to send them money, and then they get something in return. It's like Patreon only; they're getting something physical in in exchange. Yeah, yeah. but have you? Uh, I don't know. I don't think James uh, saw this, but uh, Joe, have you seen where uh, a rat veteran and um, uh, Forge from Freedom they they have some kind of beef going on between those two? But he haven't said yet what it is. Apparently, some. Something that a rock veteran is doing is scheming people or something. I don't know what he's doing. He's selling those that, boxes. Damn, that damn box is scheming people. But it's it's more to that. It's something else that uh, Forge uh, for Freedom is not saying yet. But um, apparently something's going on between those two. It is, it's a big bow wow right now on social media, on Instagram and everything. But I don't know if anybody in the chat room knows anything about it. Uh, if you do, uh, comment, you know, let, let me know. I haven't really been keeping up with it, but. I don't know if you heard of it. I don't know. I I just know that dude. That dude lost me. About it. That dude ain't gonna see my. I ain't. He ain't gonna get my views. He ain't gonna get my money. I ain't giving that dude nothing else. That yeah. That that would that one almost. And I say almost. Almost beat out that stupid uh, tack pack or not tack pack, but what was it that. Something tack. No. What was that one? Club tack. tack. It almost beat out club tack, but club tack was worse. Did you see their latest video? Their, their latest box? They're, they're called Crate Club now. Oh, yeah. It's not, I don't think it's club tack. It's Crate Club. I just watched a dude. I'd have to pull up my YouTube and find his channel or whatever, but he did. It's like, a, I think well, he paid a hundred and Crate Club been around, bucks for Crate Club's been around before. They, Crate Club's a totally different thing than, than them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, Crate Club is different from them. Crate Club is okay. garbage, too. And don't even get me started on that $399 box they have, that quarterly box you can get. Uh, yeah. For a while there, the only thing you would get is you'd get that uh, Vortex sling bag, mm -hmm. with that, which that was a badass bag. I love that bag. Vertex is what it was. That's a bad to the bone, like, Tactical backpack. I, I really liked it, but uh, I paid three hundred ninety nine dollars for it. Yeah, yeah, they made some good products there, but they're kind of expensive. Yeah, but, uh, Crate Club. Uh, yeah, they've been around. It's a Crate Club. Yeah, Crate Club was been around for a while now, but yeah. Uh, what about HHAC or whatever you call it? Are you still going to do that one or no? Which one? Uh, SHTF or whatever you call it. No, I'm out of the SHTF business. Mm. And I hate that because I really <laughs> like SHTF. Uh, it's it's actually one of my more fun boxes, but at the same time, because I'm never I'm never pissed off. I don't feel like I got robbed. <laughs> yeah. You know, but at the same time, I mean there's only so much of the little chinky stuff that I need, and I have plenty of it. So yeah. 
at that point, it was like that's twenty dollars I put towards something else. But right now, man, it's hard to find boxes. I thought about doing like that America's crate until a friend of mine got it, and it was like garbage. And I had a feeling it might be garbage, mm-hmm. but he he spent like one hundred thirty bucks, and they sent him like a tr- like a tree sapling for him to go plant and wow. a few other things. It was like he said he priced it all on Amazon. It was like eighty dollars worth of stuff. And wow. he paid $130 for it. I was like, yeah, they ain't going to get my business. Wow. Yeah. It sounded like he got robbed on that one. Yeah. But trying to find new boxes is, I mean, you're kind of in that space right now where what you got is what you got. Um, exactly. That's why I've been, spending all, I've been spending all my money on these damn sales. Is that channel? What's that? He, he, Common Family Survival? Oh, yeah. I like channel. Common Family Survival. He just did that crate club, and I think he paid like 180 bucks for the box. Yeah, and literally got a watch and some stickers. Yeah, I watched that one. He's a cool dude, man. I like that guy a lot. Uh, he's one of those guys that was doing the videos when I started, and he was doing the hand thing. Now he's doing the face thing. I think the face thing is kind of coming around to a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, because you want to see that person's genuine reaction. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you can sit here and you can say nice things about shit products, but you can't hide in your face a lot of times. And exactly. I think people, because there's a lot of times people tell me, they're just like, dude, did did you really like that much? Because you didn't look like you liked it, but you sounded like you did. I was just like, well, you know, sometimes it's it's not about me liking it because I may not like it because I got plenty of it. But for Joe Blow, it, it's probably going to be a fantastic box for him because he don't have what I have in there. Yeah. So that's what I've kind of – that's where I've tried to move my reviews. I've kind of skewed my views on it a little bit. Not because I'm giving false, you know, or faking it or lying or just – making putting lipstick on a pig it's because i have to look at it from the view of somebody who don't have what i have yeah exactly so, yeah. Recently started that's, doing- that's really hard and it was way hard whenever you were spending all the money on it yeah i like i like alpha alphas but as oh my god but Here yeah <laughs> yeah but just i agree with you they they got too much branding on this stuff and it, it just it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of Here's hand. Here's the thing. Think about it. If they're selling boxes for $9.95, it means they only spent $5 <laughs> on it. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I Hey, I was completely surprised whenever I signed up through the little thing that you sent me. Yeah. And I, I got the, the, the chestnuts one. And I got with the goggles and all that stuff. The mask was crap, but the goggles were cool and the, the stocking thing and the patches were really cool. Even that frost patch, which yeah. the frost patch is the only damn thing I would have wanted from that frost box. Or maybe the t-shirt. The t-shirt was pretty cool other than having alpha outposts all the way down the sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree. They, but, they, they're a little out of hand on their brand and stuff and everything they put on there. But uh, the is they don't have to. Yeah. I mean, why even pay to have that shit branded? I mean, because a lot of the stuff that they're sending, I would be okay if they didn't have the brand all over it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, there's no reason to put a big old Alpha Outpost logo on the side of that swell bottle mm-hmm. <laughs> because it makes me not want to use it because, again, 99% of the world don't know who the hell they are, and it don't make it any cooler to be walking around with Alpha Outpost thing on. Yeah, I, exactly. I have one small skewed perspective on that is I took the frost bottle to work the other day because I wanted, like, I had actually been wanting an aluminum bottle like that that, yeah. that I could take and oh, we lost work. You, there you go. And I had a bottle of mine to my cooling booth. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. What? Are you, am I back? All right. I, I had a buddy of mine come in my cooling booth the other day and ask, he's like, what's that bottle, frost? I said, well, that's a box company that sponsors my YouTube channel. They have some pretty cool stuff every once in a while. I was like, well, I'll have to check that out. So I was like, I actually kind of did have a conversation starter just based off of the yeah. logo that was I on mean, the it, I get that aspect of it. It's advertisement, but it's just it's too much. It's just too much to me. 
And yeah. it's all it's all that promotional item stuff. I used to give that stuff away whenever I worked for sales out in California. I mean, that was the stuff that you'd go, we'd go to like trade shows and it was all about what you put your logo on. They're like, we put logo on this, 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 all that stuff. That's all that it is. And it's like where you can buy like a thousand pieces of them at like a dollar 75 a piece, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's just, that's what it is. And I mean, it's all fine and dandy, but if you just think about it. You can go out there and get the same thing. Well, you probably can't because you can't buy it in bulk the way that they do. But it's just, I don't know. I i did not like it. Yeah, I mean, I agree again with the Brandon stuff. And I just think for $59 a month, I can go get the lower level of bat barrel and blade, the lower level, mid-level of battle box. And in the mid-level battle box, I don't think you can go wrong. I love their basic box, mid-level box. I almost dropped down to just do the basic box uh, until they decided to do this whole thing because I've always been happy with the lower basic levels. But, I mean, there's so many other things that you can spend that on that's going to give you better quality stuff. Uh, but – and that that's where it comes down to I cannot – I can't put lipstick on that pig uh, and that's what it was. They did not like my reviews and they just stopped sending it to me. <laughs> they, I, I didn't really, I, I mean, I didn't really just completely dog them. I just wasn't really singing their praises. Yeah. Yeah. I might've been a little rough on the last one. But. <laughs> yeah. I think you look for a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I went a little bit hard on the I, last one. They're starting to slowly d drift out of the, um, the branding on everything. Um, like the chestnuts box. I think the only thing that had their logo on it was the uh, the goggles, the strap on the goggles. The and chestnut, I think, the, uh, I think the, the squirrel, I think, had a little imprint on it. Or was it? No, that was that samurai. Oh, the samurai box. That's what I went off on. That's the one I went off on. That's, that was, that's, that's the one you, you yeah, went that off was, on. That, one. that was so bad. That was a little I'm thinking about swapping the handle out on that and, and putting a wooden handle on it. Yeah. I mean, the, you can yeah. do something with it. I mean, I just, I don't know. It just didn't, didn't seem very fun to me. I'll give it away at some point. Yeah. Here's, here's the frost right here. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a badass patch. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, really, yeah, I don't even see no, no alpha logo at all in this. Yeah, that's not. not have, yeah, they might not have it in there. But I love that. I love that patch. That's one of the biggest things that I regretted about not getting was that whenever they didn't send me that last month, I was like, "Son of a bitch!" I saw Joe Fish's little uh, patch. I was like, "Damn it!" <laughs> then I was like, "I know Joe Fish ain't gonna send it to me." <laughs> I might, <laughs> but you can. <laughs> I might. I mean, I got some of the other boxes like this one is the uh, the Siesta box. Yeah, I never minded the. I actually really like the patches in most of their boxes. Uh, Here's the. Uh, the I don't think I put that patch on anything anyway. The what now? I don't think I put that frost patch on anything. I didn't. Well, I think it's right here. Here's the uh, eight. Yeah, shit. I, I think they've done really good lately with their patches, though. Yeah, I agree. In plastic. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, again, it's just that I see way better boxes that I'd spend sixty dollars on rather than that one. But. I mean, but I could have sat there and talked talked it up, but I I couldn't do it. I I I didn't mind talking about the chestnuts bag. I really liked it. I was like, holy crap, is this seriously this going to be this kind of stuff? I was like, heck yeah! And then the next month we get the damn <laughs> samurai box. I was like, no, nope. no. Nope. I think the knife boxes take longer for them to put together. So that knife box was probably put together before they even put, yeah. you know, had the their management change or their ownership change. Yeah. I think that was like probably in the works pre their being bought out. 
But that chestnut one, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's got a real tiny one right yeah. next to his shoulder. That's, a, that's what I knew. It, I knew it had something somewhere on it. Hey, Kathy. Kathy, my, like my battle box is fixed, but it's only good for subscriptions. You can't use it on just like single purchases. So if you <laughs> use my code. For new subscribers, basically. Well, yeah, but you get you have to use it on a subscription. You can't just use it on a one-time purchase or out of the store. It's so only for a subscription. So if you sign up for a subscription, you just have to remember to cancel it. If you don't want to get it again, you have to cancel it before the 15th of the next month. And then you re then you re up using the call. Then you re -up. And you may be able to. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool if you could do that. I have one uh, through um, Never Enough Tactical. Battle, yeah, I called BattleBox the other day about that, Kathy, and he called me back and was like, everything looks great. Oh, I don't know if it's going to give you 10% off the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10% off your first box. <laughs> I think you got to do like a month to month so it's going to give you 10% off your first box or whatever. Kathy's going to end up with 25 different I mean, emails. Yeah, that ten, what would that be? That'd be like, how much would that be off? That would be like ten dollars a month off times twelve, one hundred twenty dollars off. They'd be, they'd be like, what the hell? There's an yeah. error in our code system. Yeah, I think she, uh, she needs to uh, use different emails and all kinds of different. Yeah. Things. See, I think that I'm gonna be getting. Uh, I think that I'm gonna be getting the Ever, uh, Never Enough Tactical this month. Uh, you know, he sent me last month for free and I think he got some good feedback on it. I haven't heard back from him, but I don't know if I'm like in to get it every month or if he was just wanting to do a one time thing, but I, I really like last month's box. It was a pretty nice one. Yeah. I like to see what, um, I used to love it. Never enough tactics, man. But then they went to that, they did that elite box and that, that burned a lot of people. That's why they don't do it no more. My P got an elite box last year, and that one, that freaking thing was awesome. That was like an AR builder's dream. Which one? The Never Enough Tackle Elite. Oh, it was yeah. like the last one he did. He did yeah. it at his shop. Yeah, I didn't. I, I stopped after uh, there was the under the shirt plate carrier thing i mean it was one of those like lightweight plate carriers not the big plate carriers yeah, the whole top. yeah and it was really really small so i was like okay <laughs> i didn't want to spend another hundred dollars to get a hundred and thirty dollar item that, that you could actually find online probably for like one like 110 so i just it just didn't work for me I don't know. I couldn't just drop back down to the regular box, though. I felt like they they cut corners on the regular box to get the the elite box. So that kind of just like was like okay. I don't think they have elite now they only have the two uh, levels. They they don't, and that's why that's why I'm back. With, that's why I reached back out to them because I wanted to get back and see what they're doing now, and they did really good on the first one. So, or, the, or not their first one, but on the first one I got back. But I need to reach out to them. Good job of saying that because I need to reach out to them and see if we're going to be doing it again this month. Which one was that? Never Enough Tactical. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, they, sent, they, they sent it to me for free last month, and uh, I know for a fact that I got on about three or four subscriptions just through people that reached out to me saying that they used my code and they appreciated it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we should they, continue uh, it. They, they Enough tactical, never enough tactical. They, they kind of pretty much close to the uh, HHTF, I guess. They kind of mm, no, no. They're more, they're more a little bit lower. I would put them a lower, lower than Battle Box and Barrel and Blade uh, just because they don't, I don't know. It's weird to me because it's hard to classify them. You know, they have good stuff, but it's a, it's really kind of hit or miss. I mean, it's either it works for you or it don't. And I mean, I mean, there's not, there's not 
a whole lot of items. Everything's pretty much particular to like five to five, six items. You know, mm-hmm. you ain't getting like Battle Box where you're going to get like 15 items in a box or whatever. Uh, yeah, Battle Box has been getting about that though. Yeah, Battle Box is, you know, I, I like Battle Box, but I definitely see where some problems are. They took a hard left. Yeah, they they did it because they couldn't advertise and get new customers. And they've made a lot of investment into that company. And now with them jumping off, taking on Lord and Field and BattleTech and other stuff like that, that that's the, the only thing that bothers me is that if they start just outfitting their boxes with their brands and it doesn't matter if their brands are good or not because – that's not what people want. Not what people, want. Yeah. people don't want unproven brands. I mean, you buy a brand because it's a proven name you that you know has, you know, years of shit behind it. Like this stuff is the this is worth it because we've proven ourselves. You know, Lord and Field, they they don't they haven't proved nothing. <laughs> Some high end freaking uh Leather products. Uh, yeah. Look at this. I added a whiteboard in my kitchen. <laughs> nice. That's how I'm going to start keeping up with shit. <laughs> I got like, to keep up with all kinds of stuff. I found that the other day on, on uh, Marketplace. I'm like, but now I got a big old whiteboard in my kitchen. I'm like, I don't know. It's really big. <laughs> now, when your nephews and stuff come over, you, know, you can let them draw on it. And they already do that on my refrigerator. I got one of those little screens on my refrigerator. They come in here and they doodle and leave me messages on the screen on my refrigerator. I'm like, I'm the best Bubba in the world from my sister. And I'm the best Uncle Bubba in the world. My best Uncle Bubba. Uh, you said earlier you wanted to talk about Olight. What was that about? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Olight has got a lot of my money. Sure. Dude. <laughs> they took all my money. They took it all. I bought everything they had that day. I bought it all. Yeah, there were there was one of my uh, one of my not I guess sponsor you could say that they had sent me one light before and uh uh but it's they kind of did it on the late time period before you know how they do those sales, you know, they promote every time. So they usually like people like me or whatever like you, you know, they send the products, you know, to review on the day you know when they promote their sale and yeah. everything but uh they did send me one uh to you know promote for free or whatever but it was like the day before the thing so i really had no time to really promote it you know uh you know how do you get rid of that <laughs> you know what? how this guy ends up with so many codes and gear to <laughs> i want to get on the, in on that whole thing where they send me stuff to review before their sales but i want I want yeah, that. Well, well, you probably a better chance than your subscribers a little higher than mine, but uh, I just reached out to them. Like you said, you just reach out to them and they can say yes or no. I mean, but uh, usually they'll, they'll send you, you know, the products to review before the sale comes in to, you know, kind of promote their, promote it for them and use your affiliated links, which they have and all that stuff. But they haven't sent me nothing else because that was kind of, you know, that first one yeah. they sent me was you know kind of short period of time they didn't give me enough time to really promote it so i think i made like one or two sales during that time and that was it so yeah but, uh, I, I, nothing else. I definitely uh need to be able to write those off there craig Raymer, as paying expenses because i use i use o lights uh, i mean i keep them clipped on my hat and then i keep one on my side usually uh this m1t striker i just got this sucker is bright yeah, I, I love this one, but it's prettier than my M1X striker. So I'm still I'm gonna use my M1X striker till I break it. <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, this right here, and oh, I got nice. the, what is that? this from Hitch and Timber. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. Oh, let me let me uh, there you go. Put on my, but it's a pocket organizer, and it's got uh little sleeve out here too you can put paper or whatever right here on the back side you can different type colors leathers and everything and it's you know, and then i, I like that the, the o light 
I got the proper version here, which I like. Is that's changing. the proper version of this one? Yeah, yeah. And that thing is bright. I mean, yeah, this really impressed me, and they gave it to me for free for spending them enough money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, <laughs> this, this right here is like again, it's from uh, Pitch and Timber. They're on Instagram. I don't know if you can see the name there, but uh oh but send send me that whenever you get done just send me a message yeah. with that but he makes a lot, like that. Di di lot of different pocket organizers you know i got a uh fisher space pen here on the side you know oh, uh, nice. it goes on the side and everything you know and it just you know a little switch yeah. knife here. i like that that's really cool but you know it's more of a high-end type thing so you can get you know and then, like I said, he got different size. He got wallets. He got uh, all kind of different things. But I'll send you the information for him. Yeah. I mean, they're not cheap, but it's high quality stuff that he has. But uh, but yeah, oh like, yeah, they. I don't know. I don't know what what happened with them. I never got nothing else from them. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think the I think the thing with them and what you're noticing why you haven't seen them lately is because they've established themselves now they've yeah. they've they were coming out of nowhere and now they're actually somebody so uh yeah. you know they don't have to give they don't have to give away all the stuff that they used to to get things going but that being said with olight they didn't get nothing compared to what badlands got from me <laughs> Badlands got all kinds of stuff for me. I spent a lot of money there, and then some dirty sucker on my channel decided to send me a dang link to Midway USA, where they were selling the uh, the Pursuit Pack for a hundred and twenty dollars, and it's regular two hundred and sixty nine dollars. I was like, I was like, you dirty ass! Why would you send me that? I don't want to see that stuff. I'm big, I, I just spent a crap load of money on Olight and Badlands, and then I bought it. Did you see that on the Armour shirt I said I tagged in on Facebook the other day? The what now? The the Under Armour T-shirt. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, I, I almost bought that too. Y'all need to stop. It, you know what? Why don't you buy it for me? <laughs> Throw it in the next junk for James box. I almost bought that too. If I could have, if I would have liked the colors, I couldn't find the color scheme that I liked that shirt on. I don't know. I, I like the black. I got so many black shirts these days, and uh, the forest green look. I, I I bookmarked it. I might go back. Oh I put, man, I put the link on the uh, chat. Uh, yeah, I just I opened it in another tab. Yeah, I don't know if Jay got one or not, but I'm pretty sure they had child sizes, so I think he might have been able to get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that page. Appreciate it. Yeah, they got some cool stuff, man. But like I said, they're 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 not very cheap, but they're there's good quality stuff. And especially when you have like your knives, you got all your knives that you have. They make different size for them. Uh, you can carry your EDC knife, keep it from you know banging up you know all that stuff in your pockets you know keep it from banging each other and yeah stuff. so it's, it's pretty cool you don't want them to bang each other <laughs> <laughs> oh man but anyways uh yeah you don't want them banging each other there you go joe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my new phone stand i know i noticed that on your videos i noticed that a lot look at her where did you get that from? I got it from Joe Fish. <laughs> oh, okay. Joe Fish sent it to me. It's a can holder. Like, hold the can right between the two. Oh, okay. I see. I thought you sent this to me. No, I didn't send that to you, buddy. Then it had to be Craig, then. Must Craig, be. I think, did. Craig, you sent me this? I thought it was Joe Fish sent it to me. Maybe I did. I don't know. But I don't want to take credit for somebody else's gift. <laughs> Upstairs. I think Craig did. Yeah. <laughs> Demonetize now. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't yeah. yeah because we got blue curtains on yeah. here. Craig sent it to me. <laughs> Joe Fish sent me moonshine. Ah, okay. 
moonshine and the the one the very first video addict t-shirt that's uh, you did that's another thing i'm working on too that's yeah you're working on the hats too ain't it i i got the hats oh yeah i was gonna tell everybody here i have hats so nice. i should have a video up i'll do it tonight showing the different hats mm -hmm. and uh then everybody can just email me i literally have i think 20 hats so it's just the first 20 people that come along um Welcome. some of them some of them i'll be able to get probably within a couple of days like replenish them uh but like the flex fit ones i think i might have like 10 flex fit and then i'll have a few i got 10 richardson 112 styles kind of like the ones you're wearing and then uh kind of like a trucker hat yeah the yeah the richardson 112 that's what i have uh i have 10 of those 10 flex fit and then she has a couple of other ones that may i don't know how many she's gonna have though yeah. but this is all being done so that's another thing like my my sister's husband's sister has her own little shop in the back of their house where she does embroidery stuff for her husband's company mm -hmm. so now she's doing embroidering for me so you know it helps me get a little bit cheaper but i mean she was costing me about 17 dollars for a hat and then by the time i ship it and everything it's 25 so i'm making like five bucks for my troubles gotcha. that's lids, that's lids pricing yeah you don't have to buy it, Joe Fish. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, thirty bucks is about the least I can do. I mean, look. I walked in the lids and I picked up a Oakland A's hat because we were gonna go watch a Oakland A's in uh, Cleveland. And I was like, I picked it up and I looked at it. I was like, that ain't a bad hat. And I looked at it, I was like thirty five dollars. I was like, right back on the shelf. No. And then I went to Salvation Army and literally found a brand new one that was still in the plastic. For three bucks, I was like, "See, that's why you gotta say it. That's, you gotta do like I did, Joe Fish. You gotta say, listen, I have twenty limited edition. Makes it more valuable. You never see this again. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how that's how uh, what's his name does the demolition ranch. He does those uh, few uh, shirts here and there, and that's how he sells them out so quick. Kathy, I do not have any ponytail hats. I don't even know what that is. It's like a Gallagher hat. I know it probably has a hole like right here. Or the golfer hats, like the ones with you know, like you wear. Yeah, I may, I may put, I may do a visor at some point. I don't know, just because down here it just having that open top of my. I mean, I wear it at work. I'd die probably if I had to wear a closed hat at work. It would just. You got wear boot camps. Yeah, you got hard hats. That's different. You've got hot stuff falling everywhere. We had a guy at work just a couple weeks ago had glass thrown through the front of the machine and it grazed the side of his hat and like slid down the back of his ear and it literally yeah. looked like somebody just took a blowtorch and ran it right across his hat and then he like Damn. had a third degree burn on the back of his ear. Mm. Damn. It's a dangerous place you work, man. That's why it pays what it pays. Yeah, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> it, uh, my, when I started up here, they told me it's it's not a matter of if you get hurt, it's when. You're going to slip, you're going to fall, you're going to get burnt, you're going to get cut, you're going to get pinched. And so far, yeah. I've done everything. I haven't gotten hurt from falling at the plant. I did in my driveway, but not 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 at work. Um, but Craig, I, told I, me, I, Craig told me to look at the base if everybody's wondering why I'm looking at the girl. It says, look at the base. Can. I'm like, it doesn't say anything. He's looking for beef curtains. <laughs> I'm looking for something. I guess. He just want to see her again. That's all. That's it. Yeah. I'm single for a while. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now he uses that as a as a phone rest. Yeah. All right. Dude, hands are busy. Yeah. Well, Craig said, "Wait until my hair falls out, dude. I ain't ever worried about going bald, ever." Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to worry about that. Yeah, I'm ten years younger than you, and I, I look, that's my bald spot right there. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Some people, are, some people are blessed. 
But mine's gonna be solid white here in a couple of years, probably. Yeah, my my stuff's starting to grow, turn white a little bit here and here and there. So, yeah. My yeah. wife told me that the other day. She says, "I can't wait till my hair turns white." And I was like, "Why the hell would you want that?" Yeah. Well, I think I just think it would look really good. Like, I'm like, you're like, honey, do you, are you really that desperate to to be rid of me? Because I will leave your ass if you don't go <laughs> color that stuff. She's like, why? You don't think you'd like me if I had white hair? I said, no. If your hair no. naturally turned white, no. <laughs> uh, no. My girl uh, that I've been talking to, I, I used to date whenever I lived in California. Uh, me and her started hanging out again here and there. Y'all have seen her, Hillary. Uh, she's, the other day, I was in Dallas, and she, was, she called me, and her hair was changed. And I noticed her hair was darker. And it's like, okay. And she goes, she's sitting there, and she just says, so my hair is done. And I'm like, yeah, I noticed that. And I said, it's dark. And she's like, you're supposed to say it, that I still look pretty or I look good. Or I'm just like, if I'd have known you were fishing for compliments, I would have said that. But I'm always fishing, bro. But this it's is all I'm single. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But it's that kind of stuff that makes it. That's why me and women don't get along because I don't, I don't, my, my brain don't function on the petty stuff. And I mean, if it's stuff that matters, yeah. But I mean, I mean, I noticed that her hair was changed. I just didn't say they she were, were on with their shifter in petty. That's where they're. That's the gear they're at. And that's where. It's gonna stay. <laughs> I'm like, it's a good thing that she's in California and I'm in Louisiana. Uh, you ever go back to California a lot, or you haven't been since you? Uh, I've been back twice since I left, but that, it, I haven't been back in the last six years. Okay. But like uh, you know, it all kind of started like a little over a year ago. I I was just talking to her and I was like, I'm going to I'm going to Washington. And she's like, Oh, I've never been to Washington. I was like, Well, shoot, you should come out there and hang out with me. And she's like, Really? And I'm like, Sure. So she flew out to Washington and like her dad or somebody her dad used to be a pilot for United, so she gets like super discounted rates or whatever. Nice. And plus, plus she's a baller. Like she got, she got mad money. She mm. works for uh, what's that damn motocross company? Company. I don't know. She works for a motocross clothing manufacturer out there. What? Uh, no, what the heck is it? I think about is it. it. Fox, Fox. No, it's not Fox. It's uh, what the heck was it? The only one I know is Fox. Yeah, you would know it if you heard it. But uh, so she's she's balling. She makes about twice what I make. Nice. I'm like, you can. I said she wants to come down here. She said you need to put a ring on it. I'm like, uh, I wouldn't let you come down here because there's nothing here worth coming for. Yeah. But what? Yeah, you don't want to move to the Republic or. California, anyway. I'm not moving back to California. No, I got. They wouldn't let me cross the border. <laughs> they'd, be like, they'd be like, "You got. We have detected a high, a lot of armory in your vehicle." Yeah. It, they'd check your car at the, at the border and, and arrest you just on conspiracy. Uh, yeah. I was like the no Mexican border, the one on the Nevada California border. Like, yeah, no, that's what I'm the state border. <laughs> yeah, I'll go crossing the the Hoover Dam out there and be like. Sir, we, you, been, you need to turn around and go back home. You need uh, to, you need, to, you need to go to uh, see if you can get into Shot Show next next year. I'm gonna try to go. I uh, supposed to win this year, but I would have, but it was so close to ATA. Yeah, like it was literally like the weekend, like the like a week and a half after ATA, and I found ATA to be more. Uh, more of what I'm doing. Like I can go to SHOT Show. They got a lot of that stuff there too. A lot of the stuff from ATA was going to be at SHOT Show. But Vegas is dangerous for me. I, I'm scared of Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Vegas, so that's one reason I want to go to as well. But I'm a, I'm I want to go. Do what now? I want to go to Vegas. She we, were, we were in and out of a vacation, and then my wife said she was pregnant the first time, so – 
She she <laughs> works with Alpine Stars. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, we know Alpine. All right. Yeah. <laughs> See, she came in for Mardi Gras. <laughs> nice. She's a tall girl. I like that. It's a good fit for you. Yeah, she it works out fine for me. And then yeah. I don't. And then then she's in California. I ain't gotta like. See, I don't gotta deal with her every day. I know she's not gonna like hearing that. Until she watches this video, and then it's gonna be six weeks before you get a phone call. She ain't gonna watch this video. She don't even watch my videos. <laughs> I know my wife doesn't watch my videos. Like she she knows that I open up like grunt style, like the t-shirts and shit. But she opened up at least two of them. Like, well, I didn't know you did them on your channel. I was like, well, you don't watch my channel. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, I mine don't watch mine either, so don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, they they tend to think like it's just some little hobby, which I guess more or less it is. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. for me, you know, I mean, I told you how it started, but I mean, it basically amounted to the fact that my friends were all getting married. I wasn't. I had free time. <laughs> <laughs> mine tried that the other day, and then literally – the next day, not only did I watch her watch like a half hour long spandex live oh, feed yeah. on Facebook, and then an hour later, it was a live makeup tutorial. I was like, and you're giving me shit about talking hunting with a bunch of guys, but you can watch spandex and makeup on your phone. It's yeah. no big deal. <laughs> it's funny, man, because like I it's never watched, I never watched YouTube before I started doing it, and now I pretty much where I'm at all the time. <laughs> I'm like always on YouTube, whether it be <laughs> watching one of y'all's videos or out west with Chris or what done every person on YouTube but I never thought about making anything until actually I started watching like you and like Dynamic Prepper and I was like, you know what, I want to get one of these subscription boxes. They look pretty cool. That's how yeah. it started. I just started buying the box and I started with Tac Pack. And I got a couple of them. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a little video of that. So I started like just holding my phone and like unboxing off the tailgate of my truck and then you know it's kind of evolved from there yeah i started yeah. with dynamic prepper as well i was watching him a lot and then you know after a while watching him so much it's, you know how youtube gives you different other you know channels to view and then that's when video addict came in there and yeah. I clicked on it and that was it yeah there I, you go. I actually watched james long before i actually subscribed to him and started like sticking to his channel yeah, yeah see i never subscribed to anybody before i had a channel either i mean i know i know how many people watch my videos i mean i'm averaging around thirty thousand views yet i have two thousand subscribers <laughs> so it's like come on now i mean wh where is everybody i mean look at the damn subscribe on. button yeah <laughs> i try and over exaggerate subscribe I did that whenever I did that, like whenever I first was starting out, because I was just like, for the love of God, subscribe. <laughs> and whenever I did that, Jason from Bowhunter Boss Club, he was just like, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, all right. So I just kind of stuck with it. And it's just kind of become my thing now. I just like you know, the way your, your intro has evolved in the past, I say, year and a half or so. It just your introduction now is more funnier than it was before. It's more. Dude, outdoor. if y'all had any, if y'all had any idea, you, I mean, one of these days I'm gonna, if I could just take, say, I delete all the old footage and I only keep the edited footage, and I've got like a whole four terabyte hard drive filled up, and I'm starting my second four terabyte hard drive right now, but I save all the videos. But I don't save the original, so I'm losing all those clips. But y'all would be amazed at the shit that goes on that y'all don't see. I mean, y'all would probably be amazed at how many times I'm not wearing pants in these things. Oh, Lord. I know. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. I'm going to picture that. I'm going to picture that every time now. Every time you watch the video now, you're going to be like, is he wearing pants? Yep. <laughs> That's going to now become a regular comment. I yep. know. Uh, it's like, are you wearing pants today? Uh, okay. Probably not. Because <laughs> really, it's really a lot of times I'm just like, throw a t shirt on, a hat on, I'm good to go. This is all you're seeing. Yeah. I, it don't change who I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. 
Well, you didn't have to tell us that now. Now we're going <laughs> we to think now every time we see a video. I'm, you're just like, you, I'm just throwing you some behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. You might Is put it, that in a couple more videos. Get, you might get a few more female subscribers. Did it get hot in there? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, glad you don't have a mirror behind you. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be working. Believe me, I watched the video closely. <laughs> I, I try, Well, I got to watch them closely now. I'm like, did I pick my nose anywhere in the dang video? Because somebody will be like, nose pick at 1.135. And I'm like, yeah. I the, who the hell's pinching for wherever I pick, do my nose or something? Like that last video that you made, that uh, your battle, your no, yeah, battle box. When Jay walked behind you, and you're like, yeah, and Jay's here, and Jay did that like a little five year old wave, like, hi guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jay's Jay's a trip, man. He really is. It's, it's funny, like he he never shuts up whenever it's just me and him hanging out. But you get him on on a video, and he just clams up. It's like it's like what is it, stage fright, whatever it is. Yeah. Camera side, mean, camera side, dude. He he clams up. He just he think like whenever I first started doing this, he thought he just would look at me and just shake his head like, oh, well, whatever, you know, whatever you're doing. And I'm, but now that's a bigger thing. Now he like I, I'll go over to his house and he's like, so I've been thinking about your channel and what we need to do this video. We need to do a video <laughs> on this and this. And I'm like, I got my own producer now. <laughs> And then he's going to go to Blade Show with me, and he's going to do like my filming when and stuff like that when we're going around. So that's pretty cool. I yeah. want to make it to that. I'm I'm still trying to figure out a way to do that, but I'm breaking my ankle. I burned through all my freaking savings. So yeah, that's that, that's rough. Yeah, I uh, I think for us the hotel and flight and everything is like 420 bucks. So yeah, not- I was just going to drive down. Yeah, I mean, if you what you got to think about, man, is think about the gas going to burn, and think about the eight to ten hours you're probably going to burn. And to me, I'm like eight hours in a car. I did that going down to that hunt I just went on, and it's not a fun drive. Plus, you I want to get there and spend some time in Atlanta and kind of go out and see a little bit and whatever. So I want to get there in a timely fashion. I don't want to take off <laughs> two days before. Yeah, definitely. Well, Rico, what's that? Rico Aguirre said he lives. He's uh, in Vegas, and he's only an hour away from where uh, where I am in Utah. So maybe we can go oh. check with him when we go to Shot Show. Yeah, if I make it to Shot Show, we'll uh, we'll go check that. Out. We'll, we'll we'll let you know. <laughs> you can meet us. You can come meet us out there. There you go. We definitely. just. We, we need to find like a big baller in Vegas, you know, they can get us into all the secret, all the fancy mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, definitely. We need to find somebody out there. I used to work with a guy. His son worked in Vegas. He worked on, uh, he was like maintenance in one of the casinos and he, he knows all like the, the not touristy shit to do. He he says he's like when I go out there he's like I don't he's like I hit maybe one or two casinos up for the buffet he's like I might gamble for an hour or something he's like I go I hook up with my son and we go and do like all the shit that's off the strip that's like crazy stuff he he's like you'd see you see in movies of uh, uh, you know people doing oh yeah okay <laughs> guys I'm gonna step away I am wearing pants so you don't have to look away I'm gonna look away. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We need to like. Uh, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to go to Shot Show next. This next time, this this past year, I was supposed to win, but then I started figuring out numbers and everything. And as far as how much it's going to cost for, you know, flight to there and then hotel and all that, you know, it was going to be expensive because I was going to bring my wife with me as well because she never she never been there. So we want to kind of spend a little time as well out there. My father in law got married out in Vegas. Oh, two second. <laughs> the second wife. Second they wife, went out huh? to the union thing, and they were, they were out there for like a week. They're in a contract negotiation, and <clears throat> got drunk, and they're like, "Let's get married." And they're like, "All right," and they went and got married. Nice. Hey, James. Jason Jan said that uh, he's in his golf underoos. <laughs> <laughs> I got those. They're like purple, though. I've been. I'm probably wearing them at some point. 
I was I well, thought that, I thought that was funny, but like the second it came out of my mouth, I was like, I probably shouldn't have told him that. Yeah, too late now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, like I've I've like I've another part of all the like videos that I do, like I'll get up to go get stuff. And then whenever I'm sitting here watching it, I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't have shorts on. Or I didn't have a <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, they ain't going to see that. Clip, clip. And I'm like clipping out all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh, God. Then, yeah, I recently got an app now where I can edit my videos and post them on here. That's what I was going to ask. My phone. Which, which, uh, what kind of software you use, uh, Joe and James? I use... Uh, Dude, the best thing out there is just the iMovie. iMovie is super simple. Uh, I have the big, fancy Pro Cut, Final Cut Pro, whatever, but yeah. I, I, it confuses me. <laughs> so I don't. Yeah. I just say no because this one works. But I'd like to be able to do like all them videos where they do like they cut in things like. Transitions. Around you, yeah, transitions and stuff like that. I want to be able to do that, but I haven't figured out how to do all that yet. Yeah. I, I really just need to sit down. I need to take a class. That's what I've, I've thought about recently is that, like, if I could find a class on Final Cut Pro or on YouTube. iMovie, and yeah. I can probably Google it and find something on YouTube or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 YouTube. Because- and just sit there and take a – just sit there and just focus on that for long enough to be able to get some of that good stuff. Well, good I mean, night, Greg. Lady Katie. Good night, Greg. Let's see how many. Good night, Greg. I, I use um, two apps. I use Vlogit. That's V-L-O-G-I-T. And oh, I use yeah. um, the YouTube Studios app. And uh, I use Vlogit to edit and put my video together and post it. <laughs> And then I use the YouTube studio app to change my thumbnail, add tags and descriptions and uh, yeah. to the video after it's already uploaded. Yeah. See, that's one of the things that I've had the problem with figuring out is the tagging and sharing through Instagram, through Pinterest and all that stuff. I don't really know the best ways to do all that. Uh, I just, I've never really thought about it as far as like the more the bigger my channel gets the more i think about it mm-hmm. and i mean and like now that i want to grow a little bit faster i'm trying to think of ways to make that happen and i don't know how to do that well uh, well with instagram uh, like you already have a, a, a facebook page for your channel already right right well when you if you get instagram that you can link. I'm on Instagram. It links up anything I do on Instagram. I just don't use Instagram that much. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I posted a few things on Instagram, like whenever I'm out hunting, I'll Instagram, you know, a photo of where I'm hunting or something like that. But doing like Instagram videos and stuff like that, I just don't do it because I don't. There's no real reason. But uh, I, you know, I editing is the hardest part of everything that I do. I mean, I spend hours and hours and hours of editing videos. I mean, it, I mean, a thirty-minute video is going to take me two and a half hours to, to edit. I mean, by the time you figure, because you got to watch it again, so mm-hmm. and then you got to watch it probably two or three times because you got to keep on watching it and you got to try and make it. I try and do the best that I can. Sometimes I'm just if you if you notice sloppy cuts where it's just like jump jump. But if yeah. you see something that kind of meshes together good, it means I took my time. <laughs> and I got to get, I like every time I make a cut, I go back and I start about five seconds earlier and I just see that flows through. So, I mean, it just, it takes forever. And then the, the saving process, uploading process, and then, you know, tagging and typing and everything. I do a lot of cutting and pasting, but I also had to learn this computer. I mean, I bought this MacBook Pro for this specifically. Yeah. Because I wanted something to be able to edit 4K video and all that stuff, and that's what this was. And plus, I didn't want. I've been I've been having computers my whole life, and they last about two to three years, and then they're done. Yeah. You know, they get viruses or they break down. Something breaks down, and the guy told me he's like, "You get this thing, you won't buy another computer for ten years." I was like, "Done." Yeah, that's what I, I love. I love that, like Windows, a new Windows comes out. Guess what? You got to buy the damn thing again. Not in Macs. You just go download the new version. Yeah. Free. 
<laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, that's what um, I got. I got a, uh, oh, I got a used MacBook Pro. It's, uh, I think this is a 2012, I want to say. Yeah. And, you know, it came already with Final Cut Pro and everything else that I needed. So, I mean, that's what specifically I bought it for. And, and it works well. I mean, it's yeah. old, but I mean, it works just fine. I have no issues with it. I mean, no, the only thing I have is being an older model and everything, it's just the batteries, you know, after so many years, the battery starts weakening and it don't hold that much yeah. charge. So that's that's one thing I need to do to this one, just get a new battery. Yeah, mine's a 2017. So, and I got like a five year warranty on it whenever I bought it. So, yeah, yeah. And this Hopefully. one got, uh, the guy that I bought it, you know, he, he that's all he does is computers and everything, mostly. But, uh, he added a uh, one terabyte hard drive in it, so uh, I, I got plenty of memory on this. That's my problem. I constantly have to clean up the memory because every video I do is probably like three and a half, four gig or more, and I just keep on. I keep having to like take everything off the hard drive and dump it on the external hard drive, yep. and I just keep on. I, I'm constantly having to do that too because it, it all of a sudden it'll come and say, "Be like, your computer is full." Like, okay, great. Yeah. And a good thing about Apple, you know, you can always <laughs> exactly that to your laptop automatically. Yeah. You know? I video with my phone and I come home and I just airdrop it. Airdrop, yep. airdrop, airdrop. Yep. That's all I do. Uh, most of the videos that I do like out in the field, they're gonna be with my phone. Uh unless I have them like clipped on with my clip on <laughs> my GoPro or something like that. But uh mainly i use my iphone for a lot of videos I, whenever you just see me walking and talking that's my iphone that's my iphone <laughs> definitely definitely yeah the iphone is the best thing for any vlogger any if you're gonna make videos this right here films in 4k does everything and it zooms better than a gopro it's just it's not as handy and like the new gopro like i said the stabilization and the sound on the new gopro is amazing yeah. So plus, plus you guys, your um, you know slow motion stuff and everything. Right. And, you know, just the ecosystem with Apple just makes everything a lot easier. I know. I know. I, I every year I think about getting rid of Apple, and then I'm like, I, I'm I'm Apple stupid, is what I say. I'm, I'm like, there's just I I wouldn't know how to operate. I my sister got a damn uh, Samsung whatever the samsung s9 or whatever it yeah. is and yeah. and i grabbed it and i was just like i'm like how how does this thing work i, I felt like <laughs> just like oh uh, what, how do i get back here tell me show me <laughs> yeah so. yeah android it's uh my wife hates apple but she had the s9 plus as well and uh she doesn't like apple and i you know it's it's not the same. Android, Apple, I might whatever you want to call it. You know, it's just not yeah. the same. It's a totally different worlds. Yeah. But all right, guys, I'm gonna but, hop uh, off here for the night. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, I'm about to close it down anyways. Uh but anyways, uh thank you for coming again. Maybe we can do this again some other time when we can. Yeah, uh, hit me up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I like this. Maybe we can buy more people and you know you can yeah, if it. we can just give me like a heads up for like a you know, first of the week or something. Like if you want to do it like a Friday night or something like that, uh, that way I can drink and stuff before. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I don't got to get up in the morning. But yeah, let's make, sure you, uh, make sure you wear pants though. Yeah, I will wear pants. And uh, <laughs> man, I had a fun time, man. It was a great time. I think the first time I ever talked to Joe Fish live. Yeah, that's yeah. Definitely always. I mean, Joe Fish is going to be with me where he can, you know. That's why I try to do this live streams. Uh, be able to do it with him and have somebody else, you know, as well. But we going I'm, I'm gonna try to expand this, get more people, other YouTubers, different. I don't know platform. I guess if we can't get Doc P in on this. Yeah, yeah. Def definitely. Definitely. I like to get some more bigger channels so we can, you know, get the bigger channels. If you can get them in on it, you know, I mean, if their people see it, all it takes is a click from them. I mean, especially those guys that have like Doc P has like fifty four thousand people that watch his video. A hold of Doc P actually. I was I him and I had talked about doing like a joint unboxing and like I'll open up Tack Pack and then he'll open up one of his boxes or something like that. So like he'd be a special guest in one of my videos and I'd be yeah. guest in one of his. 
You know, I will say I will say to do a live stream like uh, him of one of the boxes, but I want to say tap back, but Jay doesn't do tap back no more, and neither he doesn't have apples either. So that's that's the bad thing about it. So oh, don't let me know a month y'all want to do it, and I'll subscribe for the month. <laughs> no, no, it's a financial commitment. I'll send you the extra one that I get from Tap Back. How about there? That? You go, boom, do that. <laughs> I'll send yeah. it to you whenever I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you get a giveaway for it for me. But yeah, uh, all right, yeah, definitely. Uh, if if one of y'all want to talk to uh, Doc P and uh, see if we can get him next week sometime, I'll let you know why my days, you know, how it looks because I'm transitioning to a new job, so my schedule. It's going to change a little bit. So um, I'll let Joe know. So that way he'll know if he can contact you or vice versa or however you want yeah. to do it. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, yeah, uh, yeah. Just as long as, I, like I said, just give me some advanced notes. That way I can kind of promote it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, get... promoted my, I promoted my last live feed like five days in advance, and I had 70 people. So if I can promote it, you know, we can probably get a few. Okay. I'll, I'll try to do it more towards the, like I say, if I'm available during the weekend, I will try to, you know, do it more towards the weekend if I'm available. Uh, it's probably yeah. either a Friday or a Saturday, one of those two days. I'm going to try to do it more towards the weekend because, you know, people are home. You know, they're not, they have to get up early in the morning and go to work. But, uh, yeah, let, uh, if one of y'all can talk to him, let me know. Just, you know, let me know what he says and everything. And then all four of us can be on next week, and I'll let you know exactly what day before the end of this week yeah i'll shoot him a message tomorrow steve see what he has to say yeah yeah let me know reach out to me whatever if he needs to talk to me whatever same thing but uh anyways we're gonna close this down again i appreciate video addict as usual if anybody on the chat is new to this make sure to go check him out subscribe to him and also my co-host joe fish unboxing go check him out as well uh you know, share him <laughs> like Subscribe, all the good stuff. Like Jane says, subscribe. Let's so this way. Subscribe. About <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching again and everything. But uh, anyway, Joe, do you have anything coming up? Do you want to throw some plugins or anything like that? Um, I got um, Never Know Tackle. Yeah. I'm yeah. out, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I do know that Papa is coming up, so I'll be picking that winner here shortly for the Hump Day box. Actually, I want to um, win. I wanna win. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, the, the, so the I, can I can do a live feed and burn it. <laughs> I wish I posted that with one a while ago. Oh, Chris has burned a few of them. He's yeah. taken, he, he rode his truck over one and like smashed it with a sledgehammer on one. Oh, he, he doesn't, he really does not like them. But uh, yeah, right. I'll be picking that winner here soon. Um, they had to send me another one because the one that I got in the mail was opened up and missing some items. So they sent me just a whole other one. Uh, that I should be getting that in the mail tomorrow. So I'll be picking that winner. Uh, Never Enough Tactical, I'll be getting that here shortly. And I do have a promo code to save you guys 10% off, and that's JoeFish10. So if you're interested in getting Never Enough Tactical, uh, probably check out James's box. He, he probably has a better promo code than I do, but at least mine gonna, is. I'm not going to take your – I'm doing my little gun shooting. <laughs> like you're the man. That's all you, brother. I ain't trying to take this. Is your moment? Oh, and uh, that's about it, really. Trying to get some more blades hammered out here shortly once the weather gets nicer, and that's it. That's all I got. Awesome, awesome. Well, I appreciate you coming again on this lovely love third you, live stream, and hopefully we can do it again next week. But uh, James, what do you have coming up? <sighs> Lots of editing. <laughs> Lots of editing. I got my Olight review coming up pretty soon. I got a review of a few items. Like here's one little thing that's like a non-digital range finder for your bow. I got uh, bow dampeners and stuff like that. I got a lot of hunting gear reviews coming up pretty soon since the weather should be getting a little bit better outside. Yeah, definitely. With right. Awesome. Oh, and, and I got a new Badlands pack review to do pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the damn subscriber sending me links to discounts. Nice, nice. Well, again, thank you for coming again. Uh, it was fun. Enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We got to do it again next week, and hopefully, we get together next week. Uh, okay.
check, check all the links down below. Check out my coupon codes, affiliate links, you know, that helps the channel as well. And again, go check those two guys out. And uh, thank you for watching. See you the next.